Hello, so welcome to the demo of Easy Animator Pro. This is the second demo I've done, and this is for the first update that is like a f with new features. Okay, so uh, this should be in a few days, and uh, let me just show you what we've got now and what's coming. So first off, the very first thing, the biggest thing that was asked for was the ability to size. So we got that. Now I gotta add some constraining. I don't have that in yet, but we'll get that in before we get this to you. And Another thing that we were working on that uh, is partially implemented is the SVG import. Now you can see that what I've done here is it's actually got the registration off, so we gotta fix that. So, but that is coming. Now the SVG import, uh, export, that is, will be rasterized at first. So it's no problem for MOV, everything is rasterized, but for SWF, that's not ideal. So um, it's not gonna be resolution independent initially, that very first one, the, the, we'll get that resolution independent in a version or two. As I explained in the other sales video, we've already figured it out, we just need to animate it. Uh, because we've, we know we've figured it out because it's in Easy Vector Editor, that, that functionality, that capability is already there. So we have the code, we just have to get it to animate. So that is coming. Uh, so the, then the other thing that we are, is coming in is the underlay animations as I've shown before. And we have the scene coloring, which of course doesn't export, it just gives us the ability to have a couple of different options. I want to, if I know that my background is gonna be light, it lets me look at my uh, animation with a lighter background and so forth. So also for those of you who might use this for whiteboarding, it, it, you can see what it looks like before exporting it out. We also have added the ability to colorize them. I've added even more, also more of them. And uh, so here's a kind of pretty cool one right here. And uh, the last thing that we're gonna get, the last feature that's gonna get in in this next update, again, that you'll get in a few days, is uh, the ability to kind of overlap, kind of overlap these a little bit. Uh, also, they're gonna come, they're, they come in just a little late, as you can see, they, they need to come in just a, a, a second sooner. But uh, they'll, you'll be able to select multiple of these and they'll kind of mix and match together. Be very, it's a very cool effect. I can't wait to show it to you. So that is uh, what is coming soon. Now, after that, what we're working on is counterclockwise and uh, rotation, uh, more rotation options in general. Uh, the ability to time, uh, adjust the time of how fast and how they come in, how the in and out animations, the speed, adjusting the speed of those. That's a very common uh, request. Uh, let's see, we're gonna fill these screens in. We're gonna have more uh, uh, in, out, and pause animations. The pause animations will, will um, get buttons just like these. And uh, these buttons will start to shrink because we'll be making room for more. So uh, I originally was gonna have them four to a row instead of two, uh, but we, so that's, that's coming. So. That is uh, a lot of what's gonna be in the in version one. Um, there's a bunch of other small features that we've gotten requests that are probably making it into version one also. Now I wanna give you a little idea of what's coming in version two. This will launch as a launch, um, and you'll get it for free if you have purchased the lifetime update. But uh, so this is what's gonna be going on here. Now you'll be able to import these pieces independently. So you might have the the banner and the icon and the circle and these highlights all kind of in tabs over here and you'll be able to animate them in, in di different ways and that's where it really gets a lot of fun and what uh, what we'll be doing here is we'll also have a, a randomize button and just automatically randomize randomly select a different option just if you really just want to import and you know hit the randomize button a couple of times until you see something you like you'll be able to do that and uh, the randomize button will also have the ability to um, do only in animation or only pause or only out. <clears throat> so you'll, you'll be able to have a ton of different options there. So that's what begins, that's, that's just the beginning of Easy Animator Pro 2. And again, you'll get that for free if you've purchased the lifetime upgrade uh, license, which as of this video, there's only about 400 left. So. Um, I hope you're enjoying the fun and I'm looking forward to showing you more neat things very soon with Easy Animator Pro.